And look at this. Trump getting into business with God can only mean one thing. God is going to end up bankrupt and serving a three-month prison sentence <laughs> for lying under oath. In a recent heated exchange, political writer and comedian Jordan Klepper used some of Trump's own remarks against him, which clearly infuriated former President Donald Trump. Klepper, who is famous for his biting criticism and perceptive observations, was able to expose flaws in Trump's logic, leading to an angry exchange that many have characterized as a tantrum on the part of the president. Ever since, the exchange has captivated audiences and sparked a contentious discussion on the former president's handling of criticism criticism going viral in the process. In his role as stand-in host for The Daily Show, Jordan Klepper analyzes his conversations with conservative voters around the country and delivers insightful commentary. He analyzes the impact of Fox News on their views. Fox News, mild <laughs> distrust of, the, uh, of Donald Trump not winning the election. Uh, caused so many folks to move over to news that was more comforting to them. And finds that, following the 2020 election, they will lean more toward Newsmax and OAN due to their dissatisfaction with Fox's reporting. Klepper points out that Trump has helped spread a certain type of thinking that people find comfortable and has fueled a general distrust of the media. Donald Trump's tendency to be petty is obvious to everyone who has been following the antics of the previous president. But after going on a late-night rant against Bill Barr, Jordan Klepper, Klepper, this week's co-host and reporter for The Daily Show, became known as the undisputed king of pettiness. Even though Trump was back in New York City for his hush money trial, there was a silver lining, according to Klepper's co-host, Ronnie Ching. Ching reports that former Attorney General Bill Barr announced his intention to vote for Trump despite his months-long criticism of the candidate for office. Trump responded gracefully, as one would expect. Trump posted the following message on Truth Social. Klepper couldn't help but giggle at the president's antics and referred to him as the king of pettiness. I am positive that in an alternate universe, Trump was a sorority president just dripping with shade, said Klepper. For example, Bill, that bikini is absolutely adorable. Wearing it requires a great deal of courage. Girl, you're rocking it. Trump may wish to check with Kappa Kappa Gamma about potential openings in the event that his first bid for president is unsuccessful. Back on the campaign trail, Jordan Klepper discovered that Trump's supporters are eager to grant him the dictatorial powers he had threatened to deploy just on his inauguration day. Some people were going to even greater extents to support Trump, as Klepper disclosed when she took over as host of The Daily Show. You're fine with Trump as king? Klepper pestered one of his supporters during Saturday's rally in South Carolina. Yes, was her response. Trump as king is good? Yes, Klepper was sure. She confirmed. He continued, that's about as American American as you can get, without appearing to be attempting to be sardonic. She gave an affirmative response. Trump supporters' fervor was on full display during an interview with Jordan Klepper that aired on The Daily Show. Some even went so far as to say that half of the Justice Department should be arrested on Trump's first day back in office. The comment from Klepper was, that's like a true dictatorship. Yeah, the man initially answered, but later he changed his mind and added, well, no, it needs to happen. One more woman chimed in, saying, let's get it done, in support support of Trump's dictator for a day proposition. According to Klepper, he's not going to be like a Hitler dictator. No, Klepper responded to the woman. More like a Mussolini dictator. Yes, precisely, was her response. In a separate exchange, a demonstrator argued that Trump's use of metaphors makes his controversial remarks about immigrants poisoning the blood of the country acceptable. According to Klepper, it sounds much nicer in the original German. To which the man responded, yeah, there you go, with a nod. In the New York courthouse, where he is being tried for the hush money case involving Stormy Daniels, the adult film actress who claims she had an affair with President Trump wants to make a deal tonight. She is offering to give up the money she got paid to keep quiet so she can tell her story. You're all day uh, on a trial that really is a very unfair trial. These are all stories. This is over the last few days. Donald Trump made the statement that all hell breaks loose. Naturally, there was Jordan Klepper, a journalist from The Daily Show. According to Klepper, who was present at multiple Trump rallies and watched the chaos at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, the situation was far more subdued than what the ex-president had imagined. Among the Trump supporters who did show up, Klepper did find some strange opinions, such as the one who said the ex-president couldn't get a fair trial in a place as blue as New York. In his query, Klepper said, where can Trump get a fair trial? 
Ohio is located in the Midwest. The response came back from Florida. His trial is being held in Florida. His trial is underway in Georgia, Klepper pointed out. Will you accept the results of those trials? No, the person responded. It wasn't Klepper's first time engaging in a ridiculous discussion with the president's fans. Ongoing legal actions against Donald Trump are unlikely to cause a political shift, according to at least one staffer of The Daily Show. Jordan Klepper has been reporting on the latest news in Trump's hush money trial and recently took over John Stewart's desk. Trump was served with a jail sentence by Judge Juan Merchant after he was found to have violated his gag order once again. Or Trump could face possible sanctions. So in this new post, Trump, you know, as you said, he, he talks about how conflicted the judge is. He said, they can talk about me, but I can't talk about them. That as you know, gag order or not, he's already said plenty about the judge, the judge's daughter and witnesses in the case. Now his lawyers are seeking free reign. Whether Trump is thrown in jail for a few days over the gag order or thrown in jail for a few years for the hush money scandal, he's still going to be the next president, Klepper told reporters on Monday. The studio audience booed his joke, prompting Klepper to respond, look at the polls, everybody. That was only one of many gag order jokes that Klepper had prepared. The veteran journalist and fill-in anchor made fun of Judge Merchant's ultimatum, noting that Trump has already been found in contempt for violating the gag order on 10 separate occasions. There was a danger of jail time for an 11th offense. Trump, you're done with it now. If the injunction is violated for the 11th time, the judge will seriously consider jail time, according to Klepper. I find it hard to believe that he isn't considering the consequences of your choices. Then, I guess, there's simply one more chance. According to Klepper, Trump is as intelligent as a toddler, and no judge would be willing to jail a former president. If there's one thing a toddler understands, it's that when mom and dad start counting like nine and a half, nine and three quarters, the brat has already won, said Klepper. There was a cost for Trump when he broke his gag order before. Recent court proceedings resulted in a $9,000 punishment for Trump for his nine previous violations of the gag order with an additional $1,000 due by the close of business. We begin with breaking news. A request late today from the former president's legal team to lift the gag order now that a jury has found him guilty on all 34 felony counts. Quest of the Manhattan prosecutors saying that Trump could not speak about family members that are related to him or the district attorney Alvin Bragg. It is an expansion of the gag order. Klepper helps a Trump supporter who fell for a scam involving questionable products with the previous president's name in an enlightening article. This interaction exemplifies the vulnerabilities and naivete that often accompany extreme political passion. As Klepper handles the situation with sensitivity and humor, it makes one wonder if Trump, despite his public demonstrations of power and confidence, would secretly be begging Klepper to end the public shaming. Perhaps Trump is thinking about the impact on his supporters and the strain on his loyalty as he contemplates the potential exploitation of his allegiance. Journalist Jordan Klepper of The Daily Show resorted to street protests, this time congregating outside of the initial criminal trial of Donald Trump. Even in this highly charged atmosphere, Trump loyalists have been vocal about their refusal to accept court decisions, particularly those from states that were historically loyal to the president. To everyone's surprise, one individual confessed to having been in the Capitol on January 6th and even made an appearance on America's Most Wanted. Even before the trial began, Trump emailed his followers with the subject line, 72 hours until all hell breaks loose. Klepper, captivated by the ominous move, wondered whether the attorneys were getting ready for a tantrum outside of court. I want to see how it plays out, one woman responded, an indication that she wished to approach trouble warily. However, the woman became defensive when Klepper raised the subject of whether or not April 15th would repeat the pattern of January 6th. She admitted in a flash that she had been present in the Capitol that tragic day, but asserted that security had been penetrated before we even got there. Is that why you're here early today? Just to to make sure you get that first wave? Then Klepper retaliated. I think I performed okay overall. She slightly arrogantly suggested that you rewatch America's Most Wanted. I made a grand appearance there. Following the comment, we got what we deserved. An additional Trump supporter approached Klepper with a grievance, asserting that a state such as New York had the necessary jurisdiction to provide a fair trial and that Trump would have fared better in the Midwest or perhaps Florida. While this was going on, Klepper promptly 
abruptly let the admirer know that Trump's trial in Florida was imminent. After some time had passed, Klepper inquired again as to whether or not the defendant would accept the decision of that specific criminal case. After hesitating for a second, the man finally stated no. An endorsement video for former President Trump's $160 God Bless the USA Bible went viral on Truth Social on Tuesday. The Daily Show's guest presenter, Jordan Klepper, joked that it was Trump's latest very classy business venture. I'm proud to be partnering with my very good friend Lee Greenwood, who doesn't love his song God Bless the USA, in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible. And this latest very classy business venture just might do the trick. This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our Founding Father documents, yes, the Constitution. It was like Pizza Hut and Taco Bell mashed together in an unusual way with the Constitution and the Bible. My God, Jordan Klepper thought to himself, how does that thing not burst into flames immediately? I know people will say that you're not supposed to mix the Bible and the Constitution, but what you have to understand is that Trump has never read either of them. The Daily Show's Jordan Klepper answered, in his characteristic humorous tone. And I know people will say that you're not supposed to mix the Bible and the Constitution, but what you have to understand is Trump has never read either of them. <laughs> Thing not burst into flames immediately, huh? <laughs> yeah, Trump is mashing together the Bible and the Constitution like it's a Pizza Hut Taco Bell. <laughs> All Americans need a Bible in their home, and I have many. It's my favorite book. Many? Many? According to Klepper, if we step back and look at this, Trump getting into business with God can only mean one thing. God is going to end up bankrupt and serving a three-month prison sentence for lying under oath. And look at this. Trump getting into business with God can only mean one thing. God is going to end up bankrupt and serving a three-month prison sentence <laughs> for lying under oath. Klepper was making fun of the current situation. The sharp-witted Jordan Klepper, who was just a guest on the show for a short time, used his usual wit and insight to dissect the latest developments regarding Trump's administration. Klepper brought some humor to the ongoing discussion on Trump's public image and the impact of his policies on the conservative elite by making the joke, Trump needs to poop his pants. Klepper stressed, more generally, how these humiliating and mocking incidents might break through the shield that shields some political figures from scrutiny and criticism. To essentially poop his pants. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like a joke, but what it is, is embarrassing. To the point that there's... Humiliation. No it's complete humiliation. And I think you saw that with the midterms. Oh, Donald Trump might not be a winner. Huh. I built my identity around a man who I the see winner. as a winner. In his entertaining commentary, Klepper deftly navigated the boundary between satire and social criticism, offering viewers fresh perspectives on the inner workings of American politics. Interesting in joining the fight to keep democracy alive and keep fascism out of the White House? If you are someone who is tired of the lies and flat-out disgusting behavior of certain politicians, join our mission by sharing this video and channel with everyone who needs to see the truth. Subscribe, hit that like button, and send this video to everyone who believes that nobody is above the law. The truth will always prevail. Stay calm, subscribe, and vote.